on it. So in this video, we are going to see the detailed selection procedure and exam pattern for NCL for various categories. Okay, so NCL is National Chemical Laboratory. So it is an organization which is part of CSIR. So the recruitment news we have already uploaded. Now in this video, we are going to see the selection process and the exam pattern. Okay, so the posts are Senior Technical Officer, Technical Officer, Technical Assistant and Technician. So out of these four categories, the Senior Technical Officer post is only having interview. There is no written examination. Okay, so there will be only personal interview for the Senior Technical Officers. For the other three categories, there will be written examination. So we are going to see how the selection process is going to happen for the, the three categories and what is the exam pattern, what all things you have to prepare, all these things we'll be seeing in this video. Okay, so if you have applied for NCL, please do watch this video till the end. Okay, so the post, the first post we are going to see is technical officer. So for the post of technical officers, there is examination, there is written examination. It can be either OMR based exam or computer based examination. So the, anyway, there will be an MCQ examination happening for the technical officer post. And also there is three papers kept for this examination. There is paper one, paper two and paper three. And the medium they are giving for this three papers are either English or Hindi medium you can select. And the standard of questions you have to face in this exam will be either B or BTEC standard or post graduation level standard will be the standard of questions you have to face in this papers okay and the total number of questions is 200 questions will be there combining all the three papers and total time duration is three hours okay so that is the paper details now let us see paper one two and three in detail okay so these three papers will be conducted on the same day itself uh, either morning or afternoon likewise they'll be keeping okay anyway on same day only their papers will be kept and let us see the paper details. Paper 1 is mental ability test and there is 50 questions and the time duration is 1 hour. Total mark is 100 marks and also there is no negative marking. Okay. And for every correct answer you are giving, you will be getting 2 marks. So total 50 questions, 2 mark each, total 100 marks will be there. Also there is no negative marking. And the areas you have to prepare for the mental ability test is general intelligence, quantitative aptitude, reasoning and problem solving. Okay, so this is the areas you have to prepare for the paper one for the technical officers. Okay, then paper two is having two parts. There is general awareness out of which 25 questions will be there and the total mark given for this general awareness session is 75 marks. Next session is English. There is again 25 questions and the total mark given for English subject is 75. So these two parts combined together there is 50 questions and total 150 marks examination is the paper 2. Okay and for every correct answer you are giving you will be getting 3 marks and there is also negative marking minus 1 negative marking is there. Okay that is 1 mark will be deducted for your wrong answers. Total mark is 150 mark and total time allotted is 30 minutes. So for paper 2, you will be getting 30 minutes to answer these 50 questions. Okay. So that's all about the details for paper 2. Next is paper 3. For paper 3, you have to answer questions from your respective subject. Okay. So this is a BE or BTEC level examination. So whichever trade for which you are applied, from that trade or that subject related questions you have to answer. And there will be 100 questions and the total mark is 300 marks. Okay. So total 300 marks examination is paper 3. And every correct answer you will be getting 3 marks. And for every wrong answer one mark will be deducted. Okay. And the time duration for the paper 3 is 90 minutes. Okay. So this is the paper details for the technical officer post. So it is a B or BTEC level examination. There will be 3 papers. Paper 1, paper 2 and paper 3. And also, based on your mark that you are getting in paper 1, if you are crossing the cutoff marks which they are kept keeping, only then your paper 2 and paper 3 will be examined. Okay, so if you are failing to score in, your, in the paper 1, the paper 2 and paper 3 will not be examined. And 
also the final selection for technical officers they are doing based on the mark which you are getting for paper 2 and paper 3 okay so that is the level of papers they are keeping and that is how the examination will be okay next is technical assistant so the technical assistant examination will be for diploma people right okay so let's see the details of the exam for technical assistant okay so again there is a OMR based or a computer based examination will be there for the technical assistant selection and again the medium of questions will be in English and Hindi total number of questions is 200 questions will be there and the time duration is three hours okay so here also you will be having three papers paper one paper two and paper three and the level of questions you will be getting is either diploma level or graduate graduation level okay that is diploma or graduation level questions you have to answer now let us see the paper details for paper one there is again a mental ability test just like for the technical officers here also the paper one is mental ability test there is 50 questions total mark you'll be getting is 100 marks and the total time duration is one hour okay there is two mark will be given for the correct answers and there is no negative marking also okay and the topics you have to prepare is general intelligence quantitative aptitude reasoning problem solving and situational judgment so these are the areas which you have to prepare for your paper one and only if you qualify the paper one your paper two and paper three will be examined okay and based on the marks of paper two and paper three you will be that there is a final selection they will be doing okay so next is paper two in paper two there is again two sessions general awareness and english here also just like for the technical officer examination for general awareness there is 25 questions mark allotted is 75 marks and for english subject there is again 25 questions and the mark is again 75 marks so totally 50 questions and 150 marks okay three marks you'll be getting for the correct answers one mark will be deducted for the wrong answers and the time duration is 30 minutes. Okay, total 50 questions, 150 mark and the time duration is 30 minutes. Okay, so that is the paper 2 details. For the paper 3, you have to answer subject related questions. Okay, and you have to prepare for your diploma respective trades for answering the paper 3. For paper 3, you have to face a questions from your diploma trade. Okay, there will be 100 questions and total mark is 300 marks. For each correct answer, you will be getting 3 marks and 1 mark is deducted for the wrong answers. Okay. And the time duration you will be getting is 90 minutes. So, this is the exam details for the technical assistant. Here also, as I, as I said, the paper 1 is just kept as a benchmark for final selection. That is, only if you pass the paper 1 cutoff, you will be, your paper 2 and paper 3 will be examined and based on which they are actually preparing the final selection list. Okay, so that is the technical assistant examination detail. Now, the last post is technician. And for the technician post, again, there is an examination based on which actually they are going to select. Okay, so for the technician post, there will be OMR or computer based examination, just like for the technical officer and the technical assistant selection. Okay, and the medium of questions will be in Hindi and English. And the standard of questions will be plus two plus iti standard that is iti standard questions you have to face since the technician uh, post is for iti people you have to face the questions based on the iti level okay totally 150 questions will be there and the time allotted is 2 over 30 minutes here again there are three papers paper one paper two and paper three as i said for the other post paper one is kept for as a benchmark that whether you are qualifying to paper two or paper paper two and paper three so only if you qualify paper 1, you will, your paper 2 and paper 3 will be examined. Okay. Now, the paper 1, here also there is mental ability test. Time duration is 1 hour. 50 questions will be there and 100 marks is a total mark. For every correct answer, you will be getting 2 marks and 1 mark is detected for the wrong answers. Okay. And the topics you have to prepare is general intelligence, quantity aptitude, reasoning, problem solving, situational judgment. So the paper 1 is actually common for all the post that is for technical officers technical assistant and for technician the paper one is a common paper the syllabus of paper one is same that is general syllabus is there 
general intelligence, quantity aptitude, reasoning, problem solving and situational judgment is the topics. These are the topics you have to prepare if you are preparing for any of these three posts. Okay. Then paper 2 is also having almost same syllabus that is general awareness and English subject. 25 questions from general awareness and 25 questions from the English subject. The mark is also same. 75 marks for general awareness and 75 marks for the English subject. For the correct answer, you will be getting 3 marks and 1 mark is deducted for your negative answer. For paper 1, there is no negative marking for all the 3 posts. And for paper 2 and paper 3, there is 1 mark is mi minus or the 1 mark is deducted for the wrong answers. Okay. So, for paper 2, how many questions is there? There is 50 questions. Total 50 questions and the time duration is 30 minutes. Okay. And the last paper is paper 3. You have to answer questions from your ITI respective subject. There will be 50 questions and there will be 150 marks. Okay. And the time duration they are giving is 1 hour. It's a time duration for paper 3 for the technician post. And 3 mark is given for the correct answers and 1 mark is detected for the negative answers. Okay. So that's all about the paper details for the technical officer, technical assistant and technician post. Actually, I was receiving a lot of comments uh, regarding this exam pattern and the selection process. A lot of people has actually applied for this post. So if you are preparing for this NCL examination, here is the exam pattern. You have to prepare like this for the paper one, paper two and paper three. You have to prepare these areas and this is how the marking or the mark division is. Okay. So if you have applied for NCL, please do prepare like this. Okay. And also and also for your reference, I'm going to give uh, this notification in description box. Towards the end of the notification, they have given all the details regarding the selection process. So they have not uh, said uh, any interviews for the technical officer, technical assistant and for technician post. There will be only examination and based on the marks of paper 2 and paper 3 of the examination, the final selection will be done. Okay, So they have not said of any interviews as of now, but if there is any requirement, they will be keeping some interviews. Okay, So that's all about the selection process and the exam pattern. I'm really hoping that you found this video useful if you have applied for NCL. So please do share with all your friends who have applied for the NCL various posts. And if you want more videos, please do subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and keep on watching.